Hi guys, welcome to this second stationery unboxing video. In this video, we will be looking at Mori Paper. Mori Paper is a Swedish based company. They bring stationery from Japan and ship it here within Sweden. I am unsure if they have international shipping, but if you are interested in taking a look, then the website is right here at the bottom. And well, let's get started. So this box is actually very very nice and the quality is very good. They don't have a monthly subscription, they have a 6 month subscription where you get a box every other month. So now I got the box in February and the next time it will be in April. So yeah, let's get started. Take one item at a time. The first thing that comes out is this set of butterfly stickers. They are really, really cute and pretty. They are very well made, like you can tell that they are high quality. Let's open them. Let's take one. For example, this one, you just peel it off and then you get the butterfly and you can stick it pretty much anywhere you want. They're really pretty and the material feels very nice. The design is really beautiful. They have a bunch of designs in this pack. For example, this one. They're really pretty. Like, they look so real. Literally, if you put them on a window, they will look like literal butterflies. <laughs> they are really, really pretty. Then we have this beautiful set of stars that shine in the dark. I don't know if they have like a specific name in English, but they are just like a bunch of stars with different colors that you can use to decorate your walls or your ceiling and they will shine in the dark. I think they will look really cute here in our apartment. However, because we might be looking into moving to another place maybe in a year, I don't know if it's... I don't know. I have to think about it because if we damage the paint, we will have to paint it. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that, so <laughs> I don't know if I will use them on the walls, but just having them somewhere would look super cute, like buying a jar and just having them there, like a small jar with all the cute stars, like something like that would work for me. I don't need to have them on the wall to put them to good use. They're really, really, really cute. Okay, next item is these three stamps in different colors. The first stamp is this heart in green color so the color of the stamp on the outside says what color the ink is and then the shape at the front is which shape it is so for example here this apple even if the apple outside is green the color of the stamp is actually purple so the outside of the stamp matches the color of the ink this one is a butterfly <laughs> And it's a bit hard to open. Okay, there you go. So, uh, orange butterfly. And as I mentioned in my Inku Crate unboxing video, I am not a big fan of stamps. I just don't like them. They're not my thing. So I think these three, I'm probably gonna give them away. Next item is these very, very, very cute two bookmarks. I actually have a similar bookmark that I got on the previous Mori paper box that I got, um, that I got delivered, and that one is similar, and it's very very pretty, I really like them. I don't read many books at the same time, so I don't know why I would have many bookmarks, but they are very beautiful, so I'm sure that I can find a good use for them. They're really pretty, and they have these decoration thingies that I don't know. I really, really like them. Okay, next thing is this super, super cute Totoro um, notes for planner or so. It had this super cute bow. Sorry, bow. <laughs> and they are, yeah, like notes for the planner or just for taking a shopping list somewhere page flags these are really really cute like this is something that i would have probably bought myself if i was in a store in japan and they had this 
Like this is something that I use often, so this is perfect for me. Uh, also, the box was very pretty packaged. It had everything came separated in two different packages. One was a pink, like soft pink paper, and the other one was a bright pink, and it had the sakura flowers around. The previous box also had a similar design and they had these pretty flowers there as well and these are just like decoration and then it was uh, then came in the box this keychain with this cat this is like those lucky cats that people have in stores for good luck and this one is very very cute I think it's wishing like good fortune I tried to translate <laughs> this with Google Translate but it said something like uh, fortune and I don't know like it, it didn't it didn't say fortune it said something else I don't remember but it, it didn't make a lot of sense <laughs> so I'm gonna ask friends to tell me what this means because the Google Translate didn't go a good job with that but this is very very cute okay next thing is this package of washi tapes they're really really pretty like the designs are beautiful they, they have different things, like they have geometric shapes, they have flowers, they have like this kind of view with some forest, and this one which is like sakura themed, this one with circles, this one has like some kind of balls, this is like the same ball but in different style, and just some patterns, like this is a very complete set of washi tapes in really beautiful colors. And this one we will leave for later, but I need to move it a bit. Then the next item, like this box has so many items, guys. And for the price, it's like really good value. And, and okay, the next item is this set. It's like, um, I, don't, I wouldn't know how to call it. I wouldn't call it page flags because it doesn't have the, um, okay, maybe it is page flags. I'm not sure, yes, I, I don't want to pull it, but I don't know if you can see, but it has these tear marks where you can just tear the page, so like you pull it, and then if you put it somewhere like a list, then you can just like tear it up and separate each line, and this is very pretty because they are watercolor, so this is a really beautiful way of having like a to-do list or page flags or notes. No, it's, it's like really pretty. I'm, I'm still undecided on how I would use them because they have blue on this side, but they are not really page flags. I don't know, but I'm sure that I will find a way because I really like the design. It's very cool. Next item is actually other bookmarks, but in the shape of big clips. And you can use them as it explains here in the packaging like just a book marker or to hold some papers but they are so big like um i wonder exactly how i could put them to good use i have never seen anything like this i guess as a book marker they are good but they are quite heavy so maybe if i had a big book at home then, then i would use it but if i'm carrying a book in my purse then i would rather use these ones, because these ones weigh nothing and they're very easy to carry and move around. While these ones, I would be a bit worried that the material, because it's metal, would break the page. So they are very pretty. Like, I love the colors, but I'm wondering if I will be able to use them in an efficient and safe way that won't damage the paper. We'll see. All right. Next thing is this beautiful journal. Uh, it says planner, but it's not really a planner. Like it doesn't have any inserts with monthly or weekly or daily designs. It's just ruled paper. But the notebook itself is really, really beautiful. Like I don't need it to be a planner. As a journal, it's perfect for me. And I'm actually thinking of using it as a bullet journal once I'm done with the one that I'm using at the moment. And I really like the design. Uh, I don't know if you if you watch my video with the Inco Crate uh, boxes for December, January, and February. 
I mentioned that the washi tape that I got, I think it was in January, fit this, this notebook because the colors are just the same. So if you haven't watched that video, go check it out. It is a video that I uploaded before this one. And there is a washi tape that just fits this one perfectly. <laughs> I, I mentioned it in that video, so you, you will notice. All right, then the next item. I, there are so many items in this box, but like there is still a lot left. So there are these beautiful stickers with these emojis and faces. These are actually very pretty. And these I will definitely use in my planner. Like if you journal every day when you describe like how are you feeling and all of that, like this could be really useful for that or just as decoration in your planner. And I love that they have like different color palettes. So if you're having like a specific theme for that week, they are probably easy to adapt to that theme. That was very cute. I really like these guys. Okay, next one <laughs> is this set of stickers as well. They have these beautiful patterns with the fish, the flowers, flowers, like many flowers. And this, this also like very Japanese looking pattern. And I think these are really pretty. For example, if you are going to wrap a gift, putting this in the wrapping edge, that is like really cute. If you find, for example, a golden paper and everything is golden and putting something like this in the closure, that can give it like a really cute accent to it. All right, let's continue. There is still a lot to see, guys. So the next item is this notepad with this design. I, I really, I think this is called a shrine, I'm not sure what this is called, but it's really pretty. And I am not a big fan of yellow, but this particular pad, I think is very, very pretty. Even if it is yellow, I really liked it. And I like the shape, I like the size, like this is something that I would easily carry in my purse. So yeah, very nice item, more paper. And next is this beautiful pen. This one is very, very cute. I don't expect this one to write so smoothly. This is from Daiso. Okay, I didn't see that it was from Daiso. Uh, but I really, really like the pen itself. Should we try it? I mean, this one looks so pretty that I was actually thinking of giving it away to a friend. But now that I see it, maybe I will just keep it because I really like it. I love pens that have sakura details and that. Okay, here is a notebook, so let's see how this writes. I will open it off camera. Alright, so here is a pen. It is very, very light. I doubt that this will be gel. I think it's probably going to be rollerball. Guys, this is actually very smooth. Like in the video with the ink crate openings, there were some pens I didn't like because they were very scratchy. But this one, even if it's a rollerball, it's still very, very smooth. Like I'm quite happy with this pen. It actually is better than what I expected. I thought I was not going to like the ink. But it was actually very, very nice. Like, very good job, Mori Paper. <laughs> Alright, next item <laughs> is this very beautiful peach to-do list. This is also something that, oh, something that I would carry. Like, I would definitely carry this in my purse. I really like this font. It makes it look like handwritten, but very neat. And I love the shape of these circles. Here in Sweden, I think for lists, we also use circles, but in Mexico, we usually use the squares. And um, yeah, I like how the circles look more than the squares. All right, next up is this one. This is one of my favorite things in this box. It's also a bookmark that has a pressed flower in this bowl. Let's actually get it out of it. Okay, it has, I, I hadn't, taking it out before so I didn't know that it had a feather guys how pretty is this like it's probably my favorite item in the box it's just so beautiful 
I'm just like obsessed with this. <laughs> and yeah, as a, as a bookmark, I also think I wouldn't have it if I'm carrying a book in my purse and probably use one of the flatter ones. But at home, I would definitely use this one. Guys, I'm going to be finishing filming this video with my phone because my camera's battery died. <laughs> and so this is the last item. And this was this like rolled fabric that I put up in the middle of the video and it's a pencil case uh, I don't know what these are called but like a pencil holder that you can roll and then carry it in your backpack and it has different items here these are markers this one is also some kind of marker that on one end it has like a normal marker tip but on the other side it has these white tips. I'm not really sure what these are meant to be for. Maybe just like, I don't know, but I have a brown one and a pink one. Then I have these markers. They have a thick tip on one side and a fine tip on the other. Then there are these two pencils, which lead is actually color lead. So it's not just like a graphite. It has different colors. I'm looking forward to using this. And then these small coloring pencils with this silver coloring pencil. And yeah, guys, that's everything from Mori Paper. As you can see, they put a lot of effort into their into their boxes. And I feel that it is really, really good value for the money. And Mori Paper is not so sponsoring this video. This is my genuine review of their product because I am very happy with their boxes. I tried one of their boxes, you can find the video here in my channel where I also did the unboxing on camera and I was very happy with it. And then I went to Mexico, so I unsubscribed, but I actually only subscribed one month. And then now that I'm back from Mexico, I paid a subscription for six months. So every other month I'm going to be getting one one more box from Mori Paper, which is going to make me very happy. And I hope that you guys like this video. Please let me know what you thought of this box, if there is any particular item that you liked. I think for me, I mean, I can't do a ranking of all the items in this box because there are just so many. It's not like Inku where it's just like eight or nine. Here are like 15 or 16. I, I was very surprised that this pencil case had things inside. Like the box had already so many things and then just having like these extra items made it so much good value for the money. Um, but besides the pencil case, which I think is like a very, very cool item, I think my favorite one was this one. The bookmark with the feather and the pressed flower because it's just so, so beautiful. Like I love this one. I'll keep this thing forever. <laughs> Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. If you like this content, then please like the video and subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend.